In this video, we'll be looking at an example model that uses the Simio flow library. And so we start the model, we have a raw material tank which contains a liquid raw material and that material flows into a filler operation where bottles are filled and we emit discrete entities, the bottles in this case, and the bottles are transported by conveyor into a palletizer and once a pallet is complete, uh, I have the pallet flowing back into uh, to refill the material tank. So for a real system, this wouldn't make much sense to create pallets and then refill the tank and create pallets and refill the tank. But it does make for a nice model to demonstrate the capability of the flow library. So let's switch back to 2D and look at basically what's going on here. So we have a tank object from the flow library and we have a flow connector object feeding into a um, flow sink. So we basically have a system where the material is flowing out of the tank through a connector into a sink. We have a source object which creates the bottle entities and the source, the source object is initiated by an event and I'll come back and talk about that in just a little bit but the source object or the the bottle objects are then transported by conveyor into a combiner object which creates the pallets and then the pallet entity so when an entity is created from the combiner we use a um, state assignment to change the picture of the entity so that we get this nice pallet picture and then the pallets are transported to the sink object when the pallets get to the sink object it initiates a tank refill uh, using an event so there are two things that are of significant interest in this model uh, in addition to just demonstrating the flow objects the initiation or the creation of entities that's triggered by flow through this regulator and so what I have here the blue box combines the sink object and the source object into what I label here as a filler but what I'm actually doing is I'm monitoring the flow rate through this valve and I'm using a monitor element to fire an event that causes the bottle entity to be created. So let's have a look at that. So we go to definitions and events. You can see that I've defined two custom events. One to refill the tank, which I'll come back to, and the second one that's called fill complete. And so I then set the uh, arrival mode for the source object to be an on event mode and the fill complete. So when the fill complete event is fired, a entity is created from um, source one. So then we use a monitor element that I named fill monitor to, to essentially fire that event. And so what we're doing is we're using the uh, crossing state change monitor type and the state change that we're interested in is the input at flow sync regulator current volume flow out so in other words this node we're interested in the flow volume that goes through this node and so we essentially monitor that and we set the initial threshold value to one cubic meter so when this state crosses this threshold the event, I'm sorry, the process fill monitor on change detected process is executed. So we can go look at that and you can see two things happen uh, in this process. First of all we fire the fill complete event and when we fire this fill complete event that's what causes the source object to create an entity. The se second thing that we do is we increment the current threshold value by one so that the monitor element will now uh, fire the event or execute the process uh, the next time we cross the threshold value of one cubic meter. So the second event that we define uh, is used to refill the tank and we put the um, use the add-on process here at the input to the sink so that when the pallet object comes and enters the input node it fires the input sink one entered process and when we look at that so that simply fires the refill tank uh, event and we have the tank object set to uh, the auto refill property. Let me make this a little bit bigger. The auto refill property is set or auto refill mode property is set to refill when a specific, a specific event occurs and of course we just set the triggering event to refill tank. 
So the last element I want to discuss for this model has to do with the combiner object and I've set the combiner object to have failures. So I have calendar based failures so the uptime between failures are exponentially distributed with a mean of 30 and then the time to repair is triangular uh, 369 minutes. And so when we run the model uh, the first failure occurs, I check this, at about time 0.79. So we can let the model run uh, for a little while until the time down here gets to 0.79 or close to 0.79. And you can see, if I pause the model, you can see that the palletizer is turned red and the flow to the tank uh, is turned off. And so when we restart the model, when the palletizer is repaired, the flow restarts. And so I want to discuss just a little bit about, about how that happens. So what we need to do in order to have this um, uh, the flow stop because the palletizer has failed is we need to create two add-on processes uh, associated with the failure, one to stop the flow and one to restart the flow. So I've added two uh, the add-on processes to the uh, combiner object, one on failed and one on repaired. And when we look over to our processes, here's the failed process. And what we need to do is simply set the state tank1.flowregulator.enable to false, which says turn the regulator off. And then when the combiner is repaired or when the, the palletizer is repaired, we simply reverse that and set that state value uh, back to true. So the net effect of that is that when the palletizer fails, the flow is shut off out of the tank. Uh, and we continue, we actually, if you watch, if you watch carefully, we continue to empty the flow uh, through the connector and we uh, might or might not emit a couple of bottles depending on when that happens, but the actual flow out of the tank is in fact stopped. So in summary, the what we have demonstrated is the use of the tank uh, flow connector and flow sync objects from the flow library and how to create discrete entities based on flow events. The rest of the model uh, is fairly straightforward, standard Simio concepts, uh, so I will leave that for you to look at. You can also download this model uh, from the web page.